for the last week of Advent, we are thinking about living with the hope of new beginnings. There has always been darkness in our world, but Christians are bold to say that Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light so strong that not even the darkness can overcome it. In our lives, how do we see glimmers of hope in the darkness? Does this change our perspective? Does it cause us to live in hope? The contributors to this last week of Advent are Elizabeth Ferguson and her girls, Carrie Hotchkiss, Chris Denny, Tracy Gates, and Carol Weigel. So watch for their devotionals in your inbox every day. One of the most powerful messages in St. Paul's letter to the Romans is in chapter 12, verses 1 to 2, where he urges Roman Christians and us to focus on what's important to God and to feed our minds with his truths in our ordinary daily activities. Paul says, so here's what I want you to do. God helping. Take your everyday ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God wants you to do is the best thing you can do for him. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognize what he wants from you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture around you always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God brings the best out of you, develops well-formed maturity in you. God is, God and Paul are asking us to live our daily lives and go about our routines as a sacrifice and gift to God. This is in contrast to the sacrifices of the Old Covenant with God's people, a sacrifice not of things, but of our lives and of ourselves, a whole new way of living for the Advent season. Merry Christmas. <music>